Hey, welcome back. Um, today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what brass that we selected for this 243 Ackley that we're putting together. And, you know, as pieces start to arrive on my doorstep from the mailman or UPS, um, we're going to let you know, keep you updated, and uh, what we're selecting and why we're selecting it. So, for the cases, for the brass, we are going with Lapua. And, um, a couple different reasons. Now, Lapua is more expensive brass, but uh, it's kind of that old saying, you get what you pay for, and that is very true with brass. So, when you look at Lapua, it's, it's obvious, it's very well annealed. And, whereas you look at, uh, this is a brand new Hornady, and uh, not so much. So, and I'm not, not, not going to knock the Hornady brass, but it's, it's, it's alright. It's better than a lot of others. So... But the Lapua, hands down, it's been my experience in the past that that stuff is just, uh, you're going to get a lot more case life out of it. If you continue to anneal it, uh, you probably will never split a neck or a shoulder or have head separation or anything. Um, what you will find is after many, many loads, as long as you're really caring for your brass, the primer pockets is going to, that's going to wear out first. And they're going to start getting a little sloppy. But I've had, if I do nothing but just neck size and bump the shoulder and continue to anneal these, I've got many, many reloads out of them. Now, I don't know, because we're going to do the Ackley, you know, the Ackley is supposed to uh, lengthen the case life because you're not stretching the case so much because you're getting that 40 degree shoulder, uh, you know, versus this little slender shoulder here. So, so we'll see. Um, that's going to take a long time to, to get uh, these 100 rounds uh, shot to the point where they're, they're no good. But I suspect we'll probably wind up being able to load these each 10 to 15 times is my guess. Um, but anyways, now there's another reason why we like to go with Lapua. Every time I get a box of Lapua or any brass, the first thing I do is I pull it out and I start taking some measurements. And I measure the overall trim length and I measure the primer pockets and I measure the neck thickness here on the wall. So when I measured all these, well, I just grabbed a handful and oh, I don't know what I got here, roughly 10 or so brass. And what I did was I, I measured just a random handful of brass and I weighed them on a scale the overall length, the trim length, the primer pockets, and the wall thickness on the neck. And every single measurements, measurement that I took was within a half a thousandths, other than uh, there was one where the wall thickness was closer to a thousandths, but it also has a slight ding in the case, so it could actually be just that, um, just not getting a good, uh, a good seating with the ball, ball micrometer. So. But other than that, that is incredibly consistent. Uh, every other brass that I've purchased, whether it be, oh, oh it could be Federal or Winchester or Hornady or, or any of them, um, the wall thickness on the neck is usually uh, at least two thousandths of an inch, at least. Um, sometimes I've seen them as much as three. So um, now we're going to trim these down, anyways. I cannot trim trim these until I get the barrel and see. I got I got some measurements, but I had some options on the on on the neck inside that barrel in the chamber there, and so we'll we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. But but I'll I'll wait before I trim these down, and I am going to trim them. They're they're about a half a thousandths right now, but of course you know zero is better, so we're 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 shooting for zero. Um, I'm not going to uniform the primer pockets in these because they are they're just spot on. Um, these are measuring very consistently at 0.129. Every one of them I checked is 0.129. So uh, apparently however they manufacture that uh, that primer pocket um, there's not a bunch of spring back back in the brass or anything weird so that's a good thing. And I didn't really want to go cutting on the primer pockets unless I absolutely had to and I don't mind doing it uh, but I prefer not to. So I uh, found these on sale. They were 99 bucks for 100. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, most most of the time they're around 115 to 120 a box. So you know if you can find them on sale, that's uh, you know jump on it. So um, 
anyways, that's uh, that's the selection we made, and we'll we'll have to obviously fire form these for the Ackley. But uh, uh, the other reason that I chose to go with with the Lapua is because in all the research I've done uh, building the Ackleys, everybody is highly recommending the Lapua brass when you're fire forming because you're not splitting the shoulder or splitting the neck because the gra the the brass is nice and pliable, and it will fire form better without creating splitting necks, splitting shoulders, things like that. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what it does. I, I do suspect, uh, you know, uh, every forum, every piece of information I can find and read about that, it's everybody saying the same thing. Just just step up and get the Lapua. And the other one would have been uh, Norma Brass. Um, but uh, I found some Norma Brass. I've had some Norma Brass. It's, eh, I've, I, I've been hit and miss with Norma. Um, it, when it's good, it's really good. When it's bad, it's really bad. So, you know, I, I don't maybe I just had some bad luck with that but but anyways um, that's the brass selection so uh, hopefully some more stuff will be showing up here real soon and we'll uh, we'll get some more videos posted and and you know I'm, I'm this is driving me crazy not being able to get this gun put together just waiting on stuff but uh, you know we'll, we'll get there so anyways folks hey thanks for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up and share it and uh, and We'll see where we go from here, so stay tuned. We'll be back uh, probably in, a, in about a week.